a couple of moments talking about the mole, doing a couple of mathematical problems involving this conversion factor. You've been reading that one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd items. We can refer to this as being how many grams per mole. We can refer to this as being how many uh, atoms per mole, how many eggs per mole, just as you can use a uh, dozen as being equal to 12. Uh, the problem about talking about macro scale items, macro scale meaning mm, the world that we live in like balls or how many different uh, bottles are on the table or something is, is that this is an extremely large number. I once read that if you had this many soda cans, 12 ounce soda cans, it would cover the Earth's surface and then stack 100 miles high. So this is just a huge number which is some kind of testament as to how small atoms actually are. I brought in a jar and I've weighed out 12.011 grams of carbon. So there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms or so inside this jar, which is absolutely incredible. It's just a huge number. The um, mole concept here is used because we would need a relationship between the atomic world, atoms inside the jar, and the gram world where we live and weigh things out. According to the periodic table of the elements, element number six here being carbon. Um, carbon has a molar mass of 12.011. Now it's not shown. Uh, there's over 110 entries on the periodic table of the elements, so they're not going to waste space or show units here, but it's not shown that the units here are grams per mole. Note that we really benefit from shorthand notation and we can leave the E off and use M-O-L for E, which is a real time saver. So inside this little bottle, there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms or one mole of carbon atoms inside this little jar. Let's do a little bit of a math problem. Let's say that the student obtains a sample of carbon and it's not exactly 12.011 grams. Let's find out how many moles of carbon atoms would be in the sample and how many carbon atoms maybe in the units of how many moles of carbon atoms are in the sample. Let's say that the student obtains a student obtains 8.00 grams of carbon. Question number one, how many moles are present? How many moles of carbon are present? We'll make part two in a few moments here. How many, uh, how many atoms of carbon are present? But right now, moles. We have a conversion factor. We are weighing something out in our world, grams. And we have a conversion factor from the periodic table of the elements, 12.011 grams per mole. So we'll start with what we've weighed out, eight grams of carbon. We'll use our conversion factor. Our conversion factor is 12.011 grams per mole. And I'm often asked, do I multiply or do I divide by 12.011? And my honest answer is I don't know. We'll let our units do the work. Our units up there are 12.011 grams per mole. 12.011 grams. I knew to put the grams on the bottom because the grams need to cancel. I didn't know to put the 12 on the bottom until I looked at my conversion factor. I'm letting my units do the work. And up on top, one mole. The student has weighed out eight grams, which is about three quarters of a mole. So we'll do the calculation, see what we come up with. Eight grams, if the student had 12.011 grams, they'd have a full mole. They don't have a full mole, they have a little bit less than that. Let's see, 0 0.6661, which has one too many significant figures, or 0 0.666 is my calculator answer. Oh dear, 666. Six, six. Uh, the grams cancel, I'll show the work here. Grams canceling, and we're left with the units of moles. 
So the student has indeed two-thirds of a mole of carbon. Let's do another problem. Let's ask ourselves how many carbon atoms are present. Make this number two. How many carbon atoms are present? In the previous problem, the student had 0.666 moles of carbon. Moles of carbon. And we're interested in how many carbon atoms are inside that jar. We're going to need a conversion factor that goes moles to atoms. Let me put the units in. Moles on the bottom, atoms on top. That way the moles will cancel. We'll end up with atoms. And in fact, at the top of the board, so-called Avogadro's numbers are a conversion factor that tells us how many items are in a mole. One mole, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And I come up with 4.01 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms. The student has approximately 2 thirds of a mole, 0.666. Student has about 2 thirds of that number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Whole lot of atoms. So I don't know, maybe that would be, in terms of soda cans covering the Earth's crust, maybe about halfway or 70% between there. Kind of neat. Thank you.